What's going on ladies and gents and welcome to a very, very long overdue episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for more Minecraft Let's Play. Where's the Minecraft Let's Play? Have you stopped it? What's going on? So, um, I've just been enjoying playing other things on my computer. Um, especially those mini game series that you guys seem to really enjoy. You can always check those out on my channel. Um... And I've just been enjoying Minecraft, not, you know, exactly as vanilla. I don't know how to explain it. I've been trying out different things, you know. You gotta change things up every once in a while. But we are back in our Let's Play world. And we have our horses here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make babies. We are going to make horse babies. And I believe you have to get on the horse. I'm gonna breed this beautiful stallion with this beautiful mare and hopefully come out with a beautiful healthy child so oh, I don't have a saddle on me I should probably grab that first and I will do the Hall of Nublets in just a second also took down the tree I was a little in the way and kind of blocking out the Hall of Nublets I always want to see the Hall of Nublets because you guys are awesome so add a little bit of a decoration and yeah nothing really special I'm not much of a creative person so let's go ahead and grab a saddle here, as well as a lead, couple leads. It's a weird thing with the, the leads now. Uh, for whatever reason, beforehand, I mean, it worked just as a normal item would that you would simply click the lead. You would click on the horse, click on wherever you want to, you know, connect it to it, and it would connect. But now, for whatever reason, you need, like, a separate lead. I had like one lead so I, I attached to my horse and then I tried attaching to this pole here and I was trying for a good 10 minutes and it wasn't working I tried a bajillion other things and none of it worked so um, I tried okay I'm like well maybe if I need more I need more than one lead for whatever reason and then I guess apparently it worked so anyways enough jibber jabber let's get on so you get on the horse you uh, have your wheat in your hand you press the horse and now he's in love making mode he wants to make love oh he's chasing after why want you make love to him make love to me hey. all right well you not will you guys make love now no he wants to make love to her all right well i guess you're a female and go ahead make them babies make them babies oh he's so cute oh my god <laughs> so you can speed up the uh, healing, the healing, the growing process uh, by having bread, wheat, apples, golden apples, hay blocks, uh, and sugar, and maybe reeds. I'm not sure about reeds, but you can see them get bigger and bigger and bigger. Ooh, cloppy, 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 cloppy. <laughs> All right, let's keep feeding him. Oh, is that full size? Yeah, he's full size. Look at that. That is a beautiful horse. Looks a lot like his dad. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, now we have to tame him. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and tame him here. All right, buddy. Oh, very nice clop. They have very awesome clopping sounds. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, you love me. I know you love me. All right, let's go ahead and put a saddle on him. And jump off here. Oh, let's see his speed. Let's see what kind of speed he's got. Ooh, that clopping sound is really, really nice addition. I like it. That sounds like a real horse. Cool. Uh, he's pretty, pretty fit, pretty fast, pretty fit. Cool. He or she. I'm not sure who. Like, if it's a female or male. I'm not sure if there's an actual way to distinguish between a female or a male either. So, let's go ahead and just tie you up there. And I want to grab this horse and. Let's break this lead. Can we break that? There we go. And we'll just tie him to here. So, him or, I think it's a him. Or her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Come here. You're going to go there. There you go. And if I had one lead in my hand, it wouldn't work for whatever reason. But, cool. Now we got four horses. And uh, I'm going to try to breed a, a you know, horse or two every episode. And uh, next episode, or excuse me, next recording session... Uh, I want to make a stable for these guys. So, anyways, let's get on to the bread and potatoes of our this episode. Uh, what I want to do is go to the Nether 
and find a nether fortress, grab some of those uh, resources, as well as, um, since I never really have a, a real good way of gaining experience, I want to actually build that spawner, the just a zombie spawner. And so I'll, I'll show you guys a new technique I've come up with. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I have not come up with it, uh, but I have um, started using it, and it is extremely effective, much more effective than my previous method. Um, and I'll explain that all once we get to that point. But the Hall of Honorary Nooblets, which apparently doesn't have a title here, but we can go down the line, see the previous Hall of Nooblets, and we get to our new ones here. So first inductee into the Honorary Hall of Nooblets, which, by the way, uh, was based on a funny, interesting, cool story, uh, whether it was or wasn't related to Minecraft. And that's where I based off all these um, entries and submissions. So if you want to be in the honorary all of Nooblets, just listen to the end of uh, these six new entries. And then I'll explain how you can be on the wall here. So the first entry is Osbel Amora. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that person wrote, As for the funny or interesting story, Mr. Noob, me and my f two friends went to Disneyland about two years ago. We started to get hungry, so we stopped at one of the places that was by a big pond and started eating our turkey leg. As we were eating, some ducks started to approach us and stare at our food. So I get the brilliant idea of feeding them some turkey. Ironically, they gobbled the whole thing and my friend got the remaining turkey leg and threw it in the pond. Those cannibals attacked it. So, we got cannibal ducks. That made me ch chuckle. I really appreciated that. Next uh, entry, we have Tegas, F-I-V. F I P I guess Fiv five I don't know, uh, and their comment was, I was playing Skyrim and came upon a giant camp. Being a noob in the game, I decided to ch try and collect some resources from their bodies. As I went, I saw some mammoths that they had herded together. On the wiki, I read that mammoths in the game are very strong, but I still went. As the giants were coming into an aggravating range, a dragon came and I just got hit on a giant when a mammoth came and I knew I was dead. I was scared but laughing as I ran away from the beasts gathering. That's an awesome story. I can imagine just one event turning into another event and getting even worse and worse and worse. So that's really cool. And our last comment is Majid the Comedian who wrote, Once I was playing Minecraft on my survival world. I had to get some quartz because I wanted to design my house. So I go to the nether and gas showed up. But there was another behind it. So the one... On the front shot a fireball, I reflected it, and the fireball hit the first ghast and died, and the fireball glitched and hit the other one and died. I literally fell off my chair laughing and crying because of how funny it was. And he said, try to imagine it yourself. So um, I was actually thinking about, I'm thinking about this and I, I thought, how in the heck would this work? This guy's in the nether, he sees this ghast, fireball's coming at him, he sees two ghasts, he hits the fireball back, Hits the first gas, hits the second gas, and it's like a two for one. Two birds, one stone in the most literal sense. The next three entries are people that have been regular commenters, regular supporters of my channel that do deserve some recognition. So uh, I'm going to hope I pronounce this correct. Nikolai or Nikola Berzinovic or Berzinovic. Uh, thank you very much for all your constant continued support. FCLA Clan Minecraft, always a commenter and always a supporter on my Facebook page. And Sneaking Fox, again, a long-timer supporter. So, thanks guys, all six of you guys, for the new entries into the Honorary Hall of Nooblets. And if you guys want a chance to enter into the Honorary Hall of Nooblets, which I need to continue to expand here. Do a little bit of uh, excavating in a sense here. Uh, anyways, if you want to join... Uh, there is always like a topic or a, a, you know, some kind of general thing you have to do. And my topic today is, if you were to add any mob into the game, into Minecraft, what would it be? What would it look like? And what kind of, you know, things would it do? Would it be a hostile mob? Would it be a passive mob? Would it jump up and down really high? Would it go fast? Would it attack? Well, how would it attack? So give me a detailed, awesome, cool description of a mob you'd enter into Minecraft, whether it be funny, scary, uh, you know, whatever. But make a new, interesting, creative mob and all the, I guess, three or four or five, however, I'll pick a few comments out and add you guys to the wall 
and um, I also look at, for a couple of people who are always you know liking my videos and commenting because that honestly helps me a lot and it also helps me to figure out who is a constant subscriber who is a, a fan and who always watches my content so uh, liking and commenting the video and obviously subscribing if you haven't already helps me a lot so that's that honorary hall of nooblets hello pigman how are you today you guys I guess you want us to go into the nether right yeah let's go into the nether Oh, let's drop this derpy sword. I got myself uh, an iron one here in my inventory. Oh, we need to go deeper. So I changed my uh, my Minecraft... Well, oh, I thought he was going to attack me. <laughs> uh, I changed my Minecraft jar um, into the new... Let me see, press F3. Uh, week third. Oh, sorry. Um, week 24B. I was running 24A, but... Um, yeah, it was kind of glitchy, so... They updated to 24B, but we need to go find ourselves another fortress. Hopefully this won't take a very long time. I'm hoping I can get it in within 20, 30 minutes. I'm hoping. I don't have a lot of arrows, so if we see blazes, we're going to have to run like all hell and get the heck out of there. Uh, this is a very, very confusing area. What kind of F3 am I at? 111. That's really high. Hello, Gosty Ghost. Can I get up here? I brought some extra iron as well, so I can uh, make uh, some picks if I need to. Oh, that's the bedrock ceiling. I was like, what the heck is that? Is that new ore? <laughs> ah. Nothing. Okay. Let's uh, go back down and actually find an out here. I know there's a few ways I can actually leave. Is one of them? I haven't lit this area up, but this looks promising. Quartz, mark you for later. Quartz, mark you for later. Ah, uh, maybe we can get out here. I like these little nether caves. They're cool. They're different. It's not like I have to worry about hostile mobs all the time. At least not in these caves. Oh, man. Can we break out anywhere here to the surface? Probably not, right? They're, we're pretty high up. Uh, I'm going to head on back. And go to the path that I normally take to go to the to go to the da, 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 the nether, like the open nether. And I think it's this way, and then you make a right, just down these stairs. Doop -a, -doop -a, -doop -a, -doop -a, a little bit of fall damage there. It's all right. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. Uh. 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 Okay. Oh, also, I took a little bit of glowstone and. Um, Whatever, like, I would save one piece and just put that in the floor there. Uh, but yes, we need to go ahead and, uh, actually, before anything, take a picture of our coordinates here. Because we do not want to get lost. So, F2, 180 and negative 380. Okay. 180, negative 380. Guys, if I get lost, you got to remind me. Even though I have a screenshot, you still got to remind me. Alright, so... What direction are we heading in now? This is east. We're going to head eastward here. And hopefully... Oh, thanks. Thanks for shooting at me already. Thanks again for shooting at me. There are two. No, one. Oh, oh. No, there's two. <laughs> Yay, nether. <laughs> Yay, nether. <laughs> I don't have a lot of arrows. I think I have like nine arrows. So I don't have much to work with here. Oh, did they stop firing me? I guess I lost them. Oh, they're just over this cliff. One's over there. Okay. Um, I guess we're not heading east anymore. We're heading south. Is that fortress? Nope. Oh, I do not want to... Whoa, how'd that hit me? He, like, predicted where I was going to be? Really? The heck? Alright. Let's see if we... And find ourselves another fortress. Oh, I'm running out of running out of food already. Damn. Okay. Hey, that was a nice hit. Two and a half. What am I wearing? Oh, crappy armor. Yeah. Once I get um, a good XP leveling or XP grinding system going on, I'm definitely going to be enchanting full diamond armor. Because full diamond armor with protection, you are pretty much invincible. My nose is unusually very itchy. So, 
Let's make some light conversation here. How has everyone been? I know with these mini games I've been posting up, I don't exactly have a chance to talk a lot to you guys and you know, kind of communicate what's been going on, but let's talk. Let's talk a bit here. I myself have been thoroughly enjoying my new computer. I've been playing a lot of games that I never really had the chance to uh, just because my computer wasn't strong enough at the time. Uh, so I'm playing a lot, a lot of Fallout. I love Fallout. It's really, really fun. Uh, personally, I prefer Fallout 3 over Fallout New Vegas. Uh, however, I've never fully played Fallout New Vegas, so I can't be quick to judge and say one is better than the other if I haven't played both of them fully. Um, Fallout, excuse me, Fallout 3 I have played extensively, quite extensively. Um, just making sure we're still going south here. Uh, whereas, again, like I said, Fallout New Vegas, not as much. So I'd like to get more into that game, and I hope you guys uh, are watching or have some interest in watching the New Vegas playthrough that I have going on on my channel. I would really appreciate if you guys watched it, because that's a series that I like really, really like doing. Oh, it's going to take forever to break through these guys. Yay. Efficiency pick. Don't hit the pigman. Don't hit the pigman. Alright, let's see if we can find our way down here. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Not cool, not cool. Oh, this is really unfortunate. Enough. I'm not having a good time finding any of these. Oh, hello, gas. I'm on a one deck platform of nether rack. That's not smart. Uh, let's... Whoa, that's gonna hit me. What, um... What we're gonna do here is actually just gonna climb back up here. And, uh, I'm gonna actually get a little bit higher so I can get more of a vantage point to see if I can spot out a... a thing here. A nether fortress. Um... I'm gonna backtrack a bit so that I can maybe find one a little bit closer to the portal. Yeah, let's just backtrack. Hopefully those uh, those two guys that were shooting at me before despawned. Hopefully. And then after this, we'll go collect some stuff. Um, we'll collect some nether warts and what have you. And then... Did I come from there? I came from up there. And then following that, we will build ourselves a XP grinder. And I'll give you guys a brief tutorial on that. I'll probably keep the zombie spawner tutorial into one episode and this into another. Uh, that's why I want to be kind of efficient and quick here. Because I want to record a bunch of stuff right now. And I only have uh, two or three hours to do so. Let's see, what the heck is that? Oh, more quartz. Uh, so let's see, are we going to be lucky and find something here? Hmm. How high are we? 90. Yeah, that's the ceiling right there. I was going to say if we can get up there and maybe look look around, but I think that's the ceiling, so... Wah, wah. Keep going. Uh, this is this a dead end here? I think it is. Apologies for the little skips and lag spikes. That's just the world rendering and loading up. I think it's actually loading up, not rendering, excuse me. That's the correct term. Oh, wow, how did I miss that? That's another fortress right down there. Derp. Derp, 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 derp. I don't know if anyone actually spotted that beforehand, but if you did, kudos. That's a nice find. Oh, uh, that's... F how close are we here? 180. Oh, that's... That's a decent ways away from our portal, but whatever. I'll end up making another portal to here. Uh, so that's a little bit of quick traveling. Okay, come on. Give me an easy way down. Thank you. Alright, I have to watch out for Wither Skellies. That would be bad. We are playing on hard, so uh, they, do, they will do a butt ton of damage on us. Oh, there's a gas right there. Let's see if we can stay out of its eye. Uh, probably not stay out of its line of sight, but we can try. Uh, is that... Oh, that's a blaze spawner right there. Okay. That's how we gonna get down here and approach this. Thanks, Gast. Appreciate it. I'm just trying to. Okay, I'm gonna do this just so I can see. 
Okay, let's take a screenshot. Oh, uh, someone also mentioned to up the brightness, and I did a, I did a lot actually. I brought, went all the way up. I thought I didn't do that, so let's go ahead and get that there. I think it would actually be smarter to come around this way and approach it that, like the, from above. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. That's good enough. Yeah, I think that'd be better than trying to like find a way down that way and then up again. So this guy's probably gonna shoot at me here. I'm trying to stay out of its line of sight, but oh, there's two. Oh, he's definitely gonna shoot at me as soon as I get here. Um, be careful here. Cautious, cautious. Oh, hello, hello, Mr. Guest. Oh, you didn't, you didn't shoot at me. Sweet. And as soon as I said that, he's gonna start firing. Okay. And I think once I get close to the the, the Nether Fortress, he will. Oh, some slimes already. Oh, well, there you go. Let's see if I can reflect it. Apparently, reflecting has been much much harder to do for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but it is. Come on, shoot at me. Do you have bad aim? Do you have bad eyesight? I'm up here. Uh, I'm up here. Hello. Yeah, see, it's the hit detection is pretty off. But anyways, um, I would attempt to snipe him, but I'm, I'm worried that I would hit a. Um, hit a pigman and that would be the end of me and probably the end of all my stuff so I would rather not all right let's find a safer way down here oh nice little cave here cool okay so gonna find that with a torch and there hello pigman you want to come up there you go now you got a pathway to do so nope 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 Nope. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're good. We are in here. We're gonna light it up. I saw a blaze spawner right here. And I'm definitely not gonna be able to get... Wait, was I here? Oh, maybe not. Oops. And I know it was somewhere here. I thought it was... Oh, that's very dangerous. Let's go ahead and fill the floor a bit here. I should probably make it something that's not destructible, like, um, like stone, but, uh, yellow. Yeah. Oh. All right. Where is that place spawner I saw? Um, maybe over there. That would make sense. Down this way. We. There we go. Yep. Oh, okay. You guys spawn fast. No. Ow. Ow. Ooh, this is nice. They're nice and closed already. I don't think this is the one I saw. This is definitely not the one I saw. Okay. Blaze always spawn, but you know what? I'm going to try to reduce it. And if anything, I'll just block them off like this. Yeah. Okay, so this is a blaze spawner here. Let me make this a note. Okay, that's a blaze spawner. And let's make some more torches here. Two. Got 21 coal. That should be enough. Hopefully. Alright, did we get... Uh, We got one blaze rod. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that is enough. I think you just need one for the brewing stand, which is fine. Let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves anything here no oh it's a little more continuation but yeah lame um just trying to find some nether warts come on now where do my nether warts at nothing okay sometimes these pathways lead to just open-ended bridges uh, which is crappy so I'd rather not waste my time and just actually find a pre-made uh, area. A little cave. I think it's just an end here. Oh, maybe not. What is that? Yeah, see, end of the bridge here. 
Cool view, though. Definitely cool view. Okay, come on now. Show me... This is actually a really nice bridge. Oh, with the skellies. Okay, so we're going to back up from there. I don't have arrows. I don't have a lot of arrows, and my bow is not exactly the greatest either. Once I get more arrows, we can tackle um, with the skellies, no problem, but... Okay, so we know where the skellies are there, and we know that's a dead end. <laughs> oh, blazes. I think that's just a natural spawn. Uh, we came this way. Come on now. Big, huge nether fortress, and I can't find a single nether wart. Let's go, let's go. Right that way. It's the end there. And was there nothing here at all? Oh, place there. Oh, another blaze spawner. Oh. Can I hit you? Nope. Okay. That's, oh, I'm not regenerating. That's not good. Another volley of these guys. I might die. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Okay, let's actually just get out of here. I need to regen health. And I can't even sprint out. Okay. Let's just stay here for now. Okay. Um... He's not aggroed. They're not aggroed there. Let's go off this way. Let's see if we can see anything here. Come on, nether wards. Where you at? This is going to be an, a dead end here. Watch. I'm going to be cheesed. What the hell is that? Oh, regular skelly. Hello. Oh, I got a bow. Cool. Yeah, but a dead end, unfortunately. Um, that bow is crap. Bow is crap. I hear you, Gast. You don't have to keep saying, I'm here. I can hear you. Okay. Relax. Ah. <sighs> now, I would... Oh. With a skelly behind me. I think... Because it sounded very loud. Is there another spawner up here? No. Just a random place. Come here. Come here. There might be a spawner up there, though. <gasps> oh, I'm dead. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a total mistake. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What am I going to do here? Oh, that was a mistake. I... Okay, I don't have anything major I'm losing here. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I'm already contemplating my death, because this is not going to turn out well. Oh, really now? Really? Really? I have enough problems without you? Thanks. Okay, well, we're going to have to hope for the best here. Trying to get away from all the pigmen here. Oh, with a skelly? Maybe above here. Yeah. Oh, no, that's... I don't know. It might be with a skelly. Okay. I think I just need to stay away from that area. And they won't try to kill me brutally. Uh, how hard is it to find just a bit of... A bit of... Uh, nether warts. Ugh, come on now. Well, I guess we can hang out here for a little bit, and uh, <laughs> we can talk. I'll check my iPod. I got a few Snapchats. That's always cool. All right. Let's go. Be a man, Matt. You got to face your fears head on. Wither skellies? Or normal skellies? Whoa, scared the crap out of me. Scared the bejeebus out of me. Don't hit me. Ow. Stop. Stop. Take it with her. Okay. Ow. Stop. I should just do this. They can't pass too high spaces, so. Well, at least I got some coal out of it. <laughs> yep, he's coming.
can't really see him. There you go. Come on. Hey, buddy. Now you just come here. And you farm. <laughs> there you go. Any more? Let's go check. Nope. Weird. They just randomly spawned there. I guess this is a good spawning area for them. Uh, let's make a note of that as well. As you can tell, I make notes with wood. And I say this is an important area. And then I come back to the video and say, oh, okay. So, like, this is a good spawning space for them. That's what, was, that's what this is going to symbolize. Cool. Alright, let's head on back here. And hopefully those pigmen despawned. And hopefully if they did despawn, they're not terribly mad at me. And if they are, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> is this the spawner that I was just at? No. It is not. Let's get back here, though. I am getting a little bit disoriented, admittedly. Oh, oh, with a skelly. No, let's, let's, no, let's, no, let's do this smart. Oh, really? Come on. No, let's pull. All right, we'll make this our little safe haven here then, just in case we run into any more. All right, I think there might be. Yeah, there we go. There's some nether warts. Oh, you're not mad, are you? Okay, love you. <laughs> Uh, let's see, is there going to be people up here? No. Nope. Let's just light it up just in case. Ah! Come, no. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah, a little bit further out. Okay, sweet. Now we can go ahead and harvest some nether warts. Yay. And get ourselves some soul sand. And now we need to get out of here. So I'm going to go uh, check those cores. Oh, wait. 180, negative 380. There you go. Remember it. I'm going to go check the screenshot just in case anyways, because it might be like opposite signs or whatever. Like negative 180. I'm pretty sure it's 180, negative 380. And how far off are we? 180, negative 380. <laughs> we are pretty far. Negative 3, 380. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that way? Let's see. Is that, what the, oh, there's a chest. Oh, sweet. I completely forgot there's chest in here as well. Oh, two tet. Ooh. Ooh la la. Let's make sure they're not trapped. I'm not sure if they can be trapped, but I'd rather check just in case. What's this little, little balcony? Cool. And obviously I'll come back here in my off time and harvest more. Um, oh, wow. Three chests. I'll harvest more uh, of this or harvest some netherrack. Nether brick, that's what I meant to say. Oh, what is this? Oh, gold horse armor. Awesome. And we got a saddle and we got diamonds. That is some, that's an awesome find. Go ahead and grab that. Chest number two. Ooh, two gold swords. I'm going to take the saddles. The gold armor don't exactly need. Saddles are nice though. And this one here. Gold armor and sword. Okay, so that's, those two aren't the greatest, but anything here? Uh, those two aren't the greatest, but the saddle and the gold armor. Pretty cool. Let's head on down here and see what we find. But first, I'm um, not entering the nether fortress. Screenshot time. Boop. Sweet. Also, I didn't forget about the screenshot um, thing that I wanted to do. Oh, there's more. Sweet. Uh, this screenshot like contest I wanted to do as well. I haven't forgot about it. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to go about it. So, uh, if if you guys don't remember or don't know, I want to do a I want to do a screenshot uh, contest where people submit screenshots and they pick the coolest one. Um, but that will have to be a little bit more organized than in my head. <laughs> I have to get an email set up and contest rules entries, um, you know that kind of stuff. So. That'll be in the near future for sure. Okay. And let's head on up here. Nothing. Good. That's what I like to see. A whole lot of nothing. Alright. And we're going to make some... More of this here. Torches. Got lots of saddles. I didn't realize... Maybe I got lucky with the saddles. Or I just didn't you know, know or realize how many... Um, Saddles they they put in the nether. It's awesome. Oh, really? 
I was hoping for a uh, more area to find more more thing, more more more, more chests. There was a whole another area that I didn't check, so I can always do that another time as well. So mission now, get the heck out of here. All right, so let's see. Oh, chest! Ah, almost missed it. Look at that. Someone probably saw it too. Any more chest? Ooh, another one. Okay, well, at least two. Oh, two gold horse armors. Wow, three! Ho oh, ho! Three in one chest. Holy moly! Tell me if that's not a record. Gold, diamond, 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 diamond. Ah, oh, well. Two styles, really good though. Uh, what can I throw out here? I guess I can throw that out. The bow as well. Gold bar. Wow, look how much gold horse armor we're gonna have. Holy moly. And uh, let's keep that stuff there. Wow. Incredible. Three in one. That's not a cool snipe. That's, I don't know what it is. All right, here more zombie pigmen that I should not hit this time. Ooh, ooh, they're above me. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Oh. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm pretty low, actually. Oh, there we go. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Please, please don't scare me like that. Alright. Um, where are we right now? 388. So we need to head... Nope. We need to head that way. And 216. What is it? Negative 380. So we need to head northwest. Okay. Let's head on this way. I'm going to keep the F3 uh, coordinates on screen just so I can see what I'm doing here. Let's go ahead and get to 380. Avoiding lava. Lava would be good to avoid. Let's keep this out just in case. Lots of gas. We definitely need to get ourselves a good supply of arrows, which I don't have because I don't have a chicken farm. I tried to make a chicken farm. Uh, I know where we are now. But for whatever reason, um, what ended up happening... Where are we? Uh, what ended up happening was the old way I used to make chicken farms uh, didn't work. It was weird, um, and it was really unfortunate because it was a really effective way. So, I've uh, adopted a new way now, uh, which is kind of to make a little holding slash growing pen for them beforehand, and so they grow whatever to full chickens, and then you just break the bottom, they fall into water, and then it's like a regular chicken farm. I'll show you guys once I actually go ahead and do it. Okay, here and there you go. 180 and negative 380, so it should be right about here. We should be okay for now. It should be about here. Do I no? Oh, oh, yeah, torches! Yay! You know you're good when you see just a slew of torches. Okay, so just saying. We all good? You guys go with me? You guys aren't, aren't mad? Okay, good, because that would be bad. <laughs> Sweet, we made it back. That's a genuine surprise. <laughs> Didn't know if I was going to make it back alive. Whew. All right, let's head back. We had tons of gold armor. And I think we have enough for each one of our horses. I'm going to hold off uh, just in case I do find diamond gold. Oh, it's diamond. I was going to say diamond gold horse armor. Diamond armor. Let's go sleep here. Oh, really? That zombie pigment counts as a monster. Oh, man. Buddy, you have to go back to the nether. Or I can't sleep. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Go back. Yeah, th that way. Go that way. I don't want to kill him because I, when I go back, all those guys would be mad at me. So, I guess we'll have to deal with the rain. I'll just go ahead and turn this down. Okay. So. Whew. Ah, I'm excited. That was a really good find. Found our nether fortress in time, relatively timely fashion. Fought some wither skeletons, fought some blazes, got some blaze rods, so we can set up our potion brewing factory. Got five saddles and four horse armor, gold horse armor to be exact. 
So that was pretty awesome find. Pretty awesome run. Got a little bit of gold too in the end there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put our horse saddles here. And our regular saddles we'll put over there. Just dropping off everything here. We also got four diamonds. Four diamonds. Diamonds are a Minecrafter's best friend. Uh, put this lead over here. Oh, I, have, uh, I made leads and I had leads right there. I'm a dummy. I should have seen that. Oh, well. We can breed five more horses. Six more horses, actually. I have another saddle here. Oh, excuse me. Got hiccup. And let's go ahead and do that. Um. Oh, we got soul sand as well. Yep. Let's go ahead and put that in here with all the nether warts. Whew. I got a chest out of that whole adventure. The best thing we got was chest. Okay, guys. So, next episode are, is going to be creating a zombie mob spawner trap XP grinder system thing. But, again, if you want to be in the Honorary Hall of Nooblets, be sure to leave a creative, inventive, new, interesting, funny, scary, and or cool mob that you'd like to introduce into Minecraft, uh, whether it be real fictional, realistically, or not. So, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy. And also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Noob Sniper. Peace out.